is Emily Ionelli, and I am a transgender woman, and I'm gonna have a little fun in this video. Um, actually, we're anticipating a major blizzard of maybe three feet, uh, and I'm still like a kid when it comes to snow, and I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm a little nervous because that is quite a lot of snow and um, we are uh, not used to that amount of snow so um, in all seriousness it is a little scary but the little girl in me is also very excited. Um, I love when we get major blizzards. I love to look outside when the snow is coming down very hard and when you get snow of that uh, depth usually cars are stranded and there's no uh, way to drive so you can actually walk down major roadways so it is exciting and I'm very much looking forward to it. And I can just watch movies today and drink hot chocolate. I am kind of recovering from having the flu, so I'm still going to be recuperating. And uh, I am doing this video with my sunglasses, so I'm kind of being a little goofball. But hey, you only live once, and... Uh, I want to be a goofball sometimes. I like it. And uh, I love being a female. I love being feminine. I love wearing pretty dresses and stockings and shoes. I'm a girly girl. I've always been feminine. And uh, there is no hint of my male past with the exception of my having a son and uh, being married still. And I want those to remain in my life. I love my son very much. And I'm very fortunate that he is very understanding and accepting. And that my wife is still with me. Um, I'm on Facebook quite a bit and I'm not used to it. But it seems that a lot of guys are, are interested in me. And... Uh, you know, I, I really never had that before, but I'm very loyal to my wife, and I, I would never leave her, um, and I can't control her feelings, and, you know, if I were to have surgery, she may leave me, I have no idea, but as of now, surgery is not really in the question, I mean, I'm planning to have surgery, but right now, due to, um, some reservations with my uh, mental health professionals. It doesn't seem likely at this point. Uh, I'm hoping so for the future, but I just don't know. Uh, surgery certainly would be something that I truly desire and wish for, but I, I don't know the future right now. Plus, I would need have it covered under insurance, health insurance, but despite that, I'm living full-time as a woman, and I'm planning to have a legal name change from Edward Donald Ionelli III to Emily Denise Ionelli, and I'm going to have all my records changed. I'm going to go to the DMV, the driver motor vehicles, to... Uh, have my name formally documented as Emily Denise Ionelli once I get the legal name change. I was contemplating doing the name change through the legal transgender legal defense fund, but I'm on a waiting list and I've been waiting for what it seems uh, an eternity. So I have the printed documents that I need to do the change. So I'm thinking maybe I'm just gonna take it into my own hands and do it. The only thing is I need to save the money for the process. It, it could cost up to $400 and I 
don't have that right now because uh, I'm focusing on getting my mortgage squared up. Uh, I'm behind on that. But I'm uh, very much uh, going forward with all the necessary details in my male to female transition. Uh, this has been a long time coming for me, and I've always planned that it would happen. Uh, I wasn't sure when, and uh, over the years I certainly wanted it to happen much earlier in my life. But I am very happy and fortunate that I was able to marry and uh, have a son, so I have no regrets. And I am also happy that I am now transitioning, and uh, I have no regrets. Uh, this has been something that I've been struggling with all my life, and I knew eventually that I would transition. So I know that um, things will eventually work out. I am living full-time as a woman. I started living as a woman approximately two and a half years ago when I was uh, uh, starting to uh, see my doctor at Callan Ward in Manhattan and after seeing her for three months she prescribed me on uh, hormone replacement therapy so I'm taking estradiol uh, two milligrams three times a day and spironolactone uh, 100 milligrams twice a day and I'm also taking progesterone uh, which is a pill and I, I believe that may be 2 milligrams but I'm not completely sure that's the only one that's not prescribed to me by a doctor uh, I'm taking that through a Canadian pharmacy but the, the estradiol and spironolactone are prescribed to me by my uh, doctor at Callum Ward and uh, I'm doing uh, YouTube videos I'm on Facebook I created a new uh, transgender girls support group type of page uh, that I hope has some uh, positive influence and helps the male to female transgender community um, I'm trying to serve as an advocate. I also want to do the same thing for my son and autism. And uh, I like to take photographs and post them on my Facebook page. And I only do clean photos. I do pictures mainly. Well, all my pictures are with dresses. Uh, I am very feminine. And I usually only wear dresses. I'm a girly girl and I just feel much happier when I'm in a dress because you have to understand that uh, when I was living as a male I had to wear men's clothes and the only way I could address my feminine uh, struggle was to wear women's clothes underneath my male attire and it was very hard for me because I wanted to shed the men's clothing and just wear the dresses. So now that I'm no longer wearing men's clothes, I'm always wearing a dress and I feel so happy and content and I never felt uh, happier. I feel like I'm truly myself now. and. Uh, I love different kinds of dresses. I love short dresses. I love dresses that go down to uh, my ankles almost. I love flowy dresses. I love floral print dresses. I love all different types of colors dresses. I have little black dresses. Uh, purple is a beautiful color I enjoy wearing. Pink is my favorite color. This is one of my favorite dresses and I wear this quite a bit and it's small and it's very comfortable and uh, I love to uh, shop at the 
Target and Kohl's and Forever 21 and H&M and uh, the major stores like Macy's, JCPenney and uh, I love shoes. Uh, I have cute black shoes with little bows and I have a little heel that I love and I enjoy walking in these. These are one of my favorite shoes and they they got felt. Uh, they're very comfortable and they only cost me like uh, $24.99 so they're very pretty and very comfortable. Uh, I like wearing uh, pantyhose. White is a very neutral color. Matches with pretty much any kind of dress. I also like wearing black pantyhose and uh, I love wearing fashionable coats and uh, jackets and uh, I, I haven't worn many bows in my hair yet because my hair is not long enough but as my hair grows out I'm gonna start experimenting with uh, barrettes and uh, bows. Uh, I try to paint my nails but uh, I don't know if it's the nail polish or me but it seems that I get kind of like light pink nail polish and it's like watery. I don't know why. So it doesn't really seem to go well on my nails. Uh, I have to find like a nail polish that is thicker and really shines through. But I, I'm not very good at applying the nail polish. And I might treat myself by going to a salon to do a manicure and a pedicure. Uh, I've only done it once and that was quite a while ago. But now that I'm living full time, I'm very confident in my appearance. So I will like to do that. Uh, but I have to find a place where it's reasonable. I don't have the luxury of spending money, so because I'm not working, I'm out of work on medical disability, so I have to watch my monies. Plus, I'm having some financial problems, and I'm trying desperately to figure out a way to make a living. I am a CPA, I'm an accountant, and I do. I uh, have uh, the ability to do tax returns. Uh, I haven't yet ordered my tax program. It is quite expensive, but I certainly can do tax returns. So if there's anybody in Long Island or the immediate New York City area and they're looking for an accountant to do their taxes, certainly you can uh, get in touch with me. Um, my, uh, <laughs> excuse me, I didn't get sleep yet. I think after I do this video, I'm going to nap for a little bit. Plus, I'm all excited with this upcoming uh, snow blizzard. It seems to be on its way because I looked at the report on the Weather Channel and they said we are expect they are expecting from 20 to 30 inches with uh, two to four inches an hour, so sounds pretty serious to me. And it's the warning is from uh, I think from uh, 1 p.m. to 12 a.m. the following day. <sighs> Sorry. So uh, it's on its way, and uh, we just have to brace for it. And uh, I will probably share that in another video and walk around outside and show you what uh, the aftermath of the storm is. I am uh, very happy now as I'm transitioning and uh, I've been receiving lots of compliments from people which I'm not used to 
and it's funny, ironic, when I was a guy, you know, I married, so I have attracted my wife, and uh, I love her, but uh, when I was living in the male gender role, uh, I never really got any kind of uh, compliments or oh, people uh, noticing me, with the exception of my wife. So I'm really not used to the attention now. But now as I'm living full time as a woman, uh, I am seemingly uh, gaining some recognition and uh, uh, specifically guys are noticing me and also girls are complimenting me on how pretty I look so it's very uh, ironic and uh, makes me feel good certainly it boosts my self esteem and uh, when I was transitioning, I just wanted to be passable. You know, I wasn't sure really how the hormones were going to affect my body and if I was going to have the, uh, the opportunity to pass as a woman. Certainly I was concerned about it. And I thought at my age that I really wouldn't notice much of a change. But I must say that I am very happy with the results. Uh, when I look at myself in the mirror, uh, I see a woman and I'm very uh, amazed how well the hormones have uh, transitioned my body from male to female. Uh, I even noticed in my face that the contouring, not the bone structure, but the contouring of my face has become much more feminine. And my skin is very soft. When I touch it, uh, it feels like a, a girl's kind of skin. And I also have done the electrolysis, so that has quite uh, made a difference, and the combination of the hormones and the electrolysis has made my face very feminized, and um, I've started to develop in here the chest area, and it's somewhat noticeable. When I look in the mirror, I'm pretty pleased. Certainly, I wish they were larger, but I can't complain. At least I have some development. And now when I wear a bra, I don't have to put tissues in there. I fill a 34A cup, so that makes me happy. And... Um, I love the feel of the bra on my shoulders and on the back. And I love the feel of the cup against the, the bra. I mean the cup against the, my breasts. And uh, I am very uh, pleased with my... Uh, the way it's starting to uh, resemble a more feminized body shape. Uh, even my legs and my arms, uh, I certainly have lost muscle tone. Uh, I lost that body definition that men usually have. And uh, I very much have become uh, feminized in many aspects of my uh, male to female transition. 
so I am very happy and uh, I have a lot of confidence now when I go out and I certainly pass well in public. Uh, there was a time when I used to go out shopping in the girls or women's department and I was very self-conscious and uh, scared when I was buying uh, feminine clothing. But it's a non-issue now. Uh, I just, I go into the dressing rooms, girls look at me as just one of the girls. So it, it's very ha exciting for me. Uh, you know, I only go in with dresses and they don't look at me in a way where they think I'm a guy. Uh, I pass very well and I'm not bragging about it. I'm just being honest. You know, it, it took a while for me to get to this point. But uh, I must say that I am very happy and I'm very encouraged with the results so far and I'm very happy with the doctor I see. I'm also going for uh, therapy. I see a therapist on a weekly basis when I can. Uh, and I also have a psychiatrist. Uh, and uh, I uh, was trying to do voice lessons, but uh, it's too expensive. And uh, the electrolysis too, I had to tone down on it. But I'm still doing it. But it is very expensive when you start transitioning, especially for a male to female transition. Uh, clothing is something that I love. I uh, always wanted to wear a dress, and uh, my wardrobe consists of dresses, basically, and coats. Uh, I have no male clothing anymore with the exception of one suit. Uh, I only have women's clothes and I only wear women's clothes anyway 24-7. I'm living full time as a woman. Uh, I don't, I don't consider myself a true woman. I am a woman. That's my core identity. And I will always view myself as a woman. And I'm not really into these labels. But in reality, I am genetically male. And I will always be a father, which I'm proud of. Uh, and I have a son who I just love and adore. And he accepts me as his father and as a transgender woman. And uh, I consider myself a transgender woman. If people ask me what I, who, what I identify as, I will say I am a transgender woman. I don't feel too comfortable saying I am a woman. I haven't come to that point yet because uh, I'm still transitioning from male to female. And I don't know, if I had the surgery, uh, I might feel more comfortable saying I'm a woman. But at this point, I'm still just a transgender woman. But I'm proud of who I am. I have no. Uh, uh, fear of telling people the truth. Uh, if someone asks me if I'm transgender, certainly I'll tell them the truth. But uh, I don't really think people see me as transgender. I get the impression that when I'm out in public, people just view me as one of the girls. So I'm very fortunate and I'm shorter. I'm only 5'5". Five five. Uh, I could lose some pounds weight. Uh, but uh, I blend in pretty well and uh, I'm passing well as a female 
so I'm happy and I'm getting attention from guys on Facebook and compliments from both guys and girls so you know that's a good thing and uh, you know it's just nice to finally be at peace with yourself now, I struggled basically all my life with being transgender I used to cry myself to sleep as a three-year-old and I tried desperately to wear dresses when I could I started wearing my sister's dress as a three-year-old and uh, I started cross-dressing at uh, 12 I remember going to the malls I used to steal steal a dress or two because I didn't have money at the time and that was my only way to get a dress and I used to wear my dresses when I had them and I did it obviously in secret but uh, it helped me and uh, reaffirmed who I truly was and how I felt about myself uh, I struggle with gender dysphoria uh, gender dysphoria is very common amongst transgender kids and uh, basically gender dysphoria is a feeling that you're at odds with your physical sex, the gender that you truly identify as in your mind, heart, soul and very essence as a person is different from the assigned sex that you were uh, uh, at birth so in my case I was born a boy male but in my mind my heart my soul and my being my essence as a person I was a girl, a uh, female, so um, that's what being uh, transgender and struggling with gender dysphoria is about uh, the mind, body, and soul of how you perceive yourself gender-wise is different from the sex that you're born into. I was born a girl in my mind, my heart, and my soul, but a boy in my body. So I'm a girl trapped in a boy's body. And I couldn't tell anyone so that led me on a very uh, emotional roller coaster ride, and I was very depressed, and I felt very sad, and I was trying desperately to find a way to cope and deal with uh, being transgender. And, uh, you know, it's serious because I tried to commit suicide when I was 16 uh, by overdosing on sleeping pills, but luckily 